Hi, I'm Paula Wynn. I'm the author of Pimp My Site. Today we're talking about how to optimize your website and getting your keywords into page source and into your metadata. So our learning objectives for page source will be finding out what is page source, why do you need page source, how to find page source in Internet Explorer and Firefox, and how to check meta tags to optimize your web pages. So first of all, let's find out exactly what page source is. This is the place that Google finds metadata and HTML snippets about your web pages. So what is metadata? Search engines use HTML to crawl websites. The code that's inserted into the background of your website via your admin section will contain metadata. This metadata is then added to your page source. So why do you need to add metadata into your website? Google will read your web pages through HTML code, which is in your page source. And Google works out how to index your page by the metadata in the back end of your page, matching it up to the page content on the front end of your page. And it gives relevant search results when a browser types in keywords into Google. Inserting metadata into every page of your websites ensures that every page is optimized for particular keywords with rich keyword titles and descriptions. And you'll be using a meta title, meta description, and meta keywords. So let's take a look at a live example of how metadata is inserted into your page source. You can look for metadata in page source on any websites, whether it's your own websites or your competitors' websites. And if you want to find out more about this, read chapter four of Pimp My Site. We're on a Mac and we're in Firefox and you go to Tools, Web Developer and Page Source. If you're on a PC and you're using Firefox, click on the orange button in the top left hand corner, scroll down to Web Developer and across to View Page Source. A window will open with a source code showing the metadata. If you're on a PC using Internet Explorer, click on the View button scroll down to source and a window will open showing the source code with the metadata. Here we have our page source window open side by side and we can see our page title at the top is work from home as a party plan agent and that is the same as our page title work from home as a party plan agent. So here you can see the description of the page and if you look here, you can see on the front end, the description is exactly the same. You can also see keywords, and these are the keywords that Google has used to understand what this page is about. It's useful to look at similar or competitive sites, page source. You can see the keywords that they've used, and it'll help you to get started with your keyword list. So why is page source important to you and your website? First of all, it's very useful to look at similar or competitive websites to see what keywords they're using. But more important, if they're actually Google's number one, you need to see what metadata they're using on their websites to make sure that you can get up to be Google's number one. Find out more about page source and metadata in chapter four of Pimp My Site. So your checklist for page source is finding out how to use page source finding out where to find it in different browsers so that when you're on a website, possibly your competitor's website, you can find page source. Make sure that all your pages have metadata and don't be afraid to spy on your competitors, especially if they are Google's number one. Your metadata checklist will be to make sure that you're using your page title, your description and your keywords in every page and more important, make sure that Google can read them with your metadata, which is inserted into your admin system. I expand on all of these tips in my book, Pimp My Site.